biomedical engineering researchers at Johns Hopkins University are working to transform heart patient care. They can now create a personalized digital model of a patient's heart, a digital twin, and use artificial intelligence to help better predict who is most at risk. We do contrast-enhanced MRI of the heart, and then we combine that contrast-enhanced um, MRI with all the clinical data that's known for the patient. This is combined with survival analysis, and we can tell over 10 years what is the risk of a patient of having sudden cardiac death. Unlike segmented images most often used today, Professor Natalia Trayanova says whole images of the heart produce more accurate predictions of which patients need defibrillators. We provide these deep learning algorithms that are multimodality. They represent the patient's condition much better. At the Sidney Kimmel Comprehensive Cancer Center at Johns Hopkins, Dr. Victor Velkulsku is leading research into developing new ways of detecting early stage lung and other cancers. He and his team observed that cancer cells grow and replicate more chaotically than normal cells. So when those cells die, they leave behind telltale characteristics of fragments of DNA circulating in the blood called cell-free DNA, which carries clues about whether a person may have cancer. The team developed a technology called Delphi, which uses novel machine learning algorithms to analyze fragments of that cell-free DNA. We look in the blood, we identify molecules of DNA called cell-free DNA, and we look for the profile or the patterns of this cell-free DNA as a way to identify those individuals who have cancer versus those that don't. Valkusku says improved blood tests could lead to greater cancer screenings worldwide. Julie Tabo, VOA News, Baltimore, Maryland. <laughs>